Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweet, and I'm in this tutorial. I'm going to be showing how you can easily process your raw images and make them pop the way you are looking at them at the back of your camera screen when you're looking at them. So, in this tutorial, I won't show you if at all you fear shooting or ed editing raw. I won't show you a very nice and simple way to make your raw images pop and have those nice and beautiful colors like you are looking at them. At the back of your camera screen and if i don't find the video full make it a point that you hit the like button on this video so that youtube can push and recommend this video to many people out there so this is the image that we have and this image was taken by mtema creations and you can see it was taken using a nikon d750 i shot it at ace iso 100 and 85 millimeter and f 2.8 and the shutter speed was one out of 1000 seconds so if at all you feel like you want to check out mutema i'm going to link his youtube in the description of this video so that you guys can check him out he also creates retouching and color grading tutorials like i do on this channel so this is the image that we have right now so the very first thing i tend to do before making any adjustments in my camera roll is coming and making sure that i click down here and making sure my color space is adobe rgb 98 and the bit depth is 16 bits channel because i prefer to edit in 16 bit and always make sure the sharpening is on sharpen for screen and a high amount of sharpening because usually i prefer a very sharp and detailed image so just do that and hit ok so then i just want to make the image pop and i want a very nice and vibrant colorful portrait in this case so the very first thing I tend to do when I'm making raw adjustments is coming to my basic adjustments or my exposure adjustments. So with this, I tend to take the highlights down just like that. And I slightly take up or down my whites. And this makes the image a little bit more contrasty and it gets back information that was blown out. You can see right on the top of her model you can see on her shirt or top you can see that we have gotten back the information in those areas then after doing that i slightly come and open up my shadows before adding anything like contrast then what i do for the blacks because i want images to be a little bit contrasty i come to the blacks and i simply dial back the blacks and that is going to make the image look better that's the before so far and that's the after before after so after doing that i just come and slightly add a tiny bit of contrast to the image then i come and add some tiny bit of clarity to the image to add a little bit more of the definition in it so after doing all this i come to my hs open or color mixer if at all you are using a newer version of camera raw so with this you can start we have hue saturation and luminance so luminance is how bright or how dark a given color should be saturation is the intensity of a color and hue is the adjustment of a color to look like a color just beneath it or vice versa so with this you can come and play around with these colors so for example in the skin tone let me just zoom in in the skin tone area you can see oftentimes when you look at skin we have to adjust it so that it can look a better to our taste or to our liking so usually you may have an image that has varying skin tones and you want to get rid of the reds so if i told you have more of the reds in the oranges in the skin tone you can come to the reds right here and you simply hue the reds to look more like the oranges and that is going to eliminate the reddish color within the oranges in the skin tone remember our skin usually has more of the oranges than uh, the red so basically that is what i'm going to be doing in this case so if at all you feel like uh, the oranges are too much for your liking in the skin area you can hue them towards uh, the reds by taking this towards the left hand side and that is going to make the image better in this case so you can see how the hue slider works so if at all you want the oranges to look more like the reds you can simply take the oranges towards the left hand side and you can see it is going to make the oranges 
red in color let me just show you that and if at all you feel like you want the oranges to look a little bit more on the yellow side you can take the slider towards the right hand side and it's going to look like the yellow color just beneath it so that is how the hue works so i feel like my oranges are a little bit more on the red side so i'm just going to take that towards the right hand side to eliminate the reddish color within the orange color so you can see a quick before and after for my hso panel and that is okay for my liking so next thing i tend to do i just come to my luminous and luminous is the brightness or darkness of a given color so under luminous what i'm going to do i tend to darken the oranges you can see when you take it down it is going to make the skin a little bit more contrasty and darker so i'm just going to do a sort of here because for light skinned models i tend not to take the oranges or to darken them so much so just want to do a subtle change to it so after doing this anything that you can do you can come to this color right here or you can even get your picker tool and you select this color and saturate it so right now i feel comfortable with the image just the before and after before after so the magic is going to take place in the split toning option so under split toning you can see that we have one that says highlights and shadows so you can add a given color to either the highlights or the shadows in the image so usually i tend to love the highlights of my images to be a little bit more on the green side so in order to see this well first of all take up the saturation slider just like that then you come to the hue and simply drag to or towards that color that you want your image to be with so after doing this just come to the saturation and now reduce on the intensity of that color from or eliminate it from your image so this is okay and now in the shadow area what i tend to do i add a cyan or blue color to the shadow area so in order to do this like i say take up the saturation and now with that done you can now see the color in real time you can come and you look for the color that you want your shadows to look like like i said i want my shadows to have a cyan or bluish kind of feel added to it and this tends to cool down the image if i thought it is looking a little bit more on the yellow side so i come to a saturation and simply dial that back down so this tends to cool down the image and it even makes it pop so you can see before and after for the split tone that's the before the image was too warm and this is the after it had to be cooled down in the process so i feel like it is a little bit too much i'm just going to eliminate or reduce on the amount so this is the before and this is the after so far so when you're done doing this and you feel like the image is more on the greenish side or greenish feel you can come back to your hue and saturation and you can simply play around with the hues so i feel like my oranges were more on the yellow side i'm just going to dial that back down towards the reds so this is the before for everything and this is the after before after before and after so basically this is how i color grade so if i told you feel like your image is not popping enough you can come to your blue primary and simply intensify the saturation and just look at what this is going to do to the image it's going to make it pop and a little bit more vibrant that's the before you can see the before without the calibration option and that's the after before and after but that is a little bit too much so i'll just come and deal that back down so when you're done processing your image you can see a quick before and after for that's the raw file and this is the way we have processed it in camera raw. and when you're done doing this just come don't click on done just come to open to open the image into photoshop to do the final adjustments or skin retouching so basically this is all for this tutorial and if at all you have found it really helpful don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if at all you're watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel 
Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.